Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching. Georgia Beer Reviews back at you today with another one. What I'm looking at is a beer from Germany, the private brewery Edgerer, E G E R E R. Uh, also, Ryder, R H E D R, Raider. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Uh, on the app, that's that's the brewery that it it mentions, but then it still says underneath um, Edgerer, and it says on the side of the label um, Brewed uh, Private Brewery Edgerer. So, um, still trying to figure out, you know, if these are all owned by Edger and then they contract brew for all these other German breweries. I don't know. If you know, drop a comment. Let me know. Uh, it's really difficult to find find out uh, this information. So 5.3% alcohol by volume. I've never had this beer. It's a, an authentic German beer from Germany. Every, everything's in German. Um, from the... Uh, Advent calendar that I got, the 2023 uh, Kalia, K-A-L-E-A, -E for anybody interested. Advent calendar, uh, you can buy them at Costco while supplies last. And these are 500 milliliter cans. All of the beers in the Advent calendar are 500 milliliters, so 17 ounces, you get that extra ounce. Um, expiration date is March of 2025, so long shelf life on these beers as well. Okay, let's go ahead and pour it up. This one, uh, according to the app, it doesn't say anything on the label, but it is classified as a Marzen according to the beer tasting app. But it looks more like a fest beer. It's just it's a light golden color. This one's really clear. You can see through it, no problem. Two finger white frothy head. Ooh, you're getting some nice hop action with this one, right up front. Kind of a spicy hop aroma. Earthy, spicy. Kind of herbal, herbal spice. Nice, bready malt aromas as well. smells very clean it smells like it's gonna be pretty light at 5.3 percent I would imagine so uh, it smells like a fest beer like just a nice German fest beer um, but it smells absolutely delightful just doesn't really smell like a Martzen uh, so without further ado let's get into this brew cheers oh yeah the hops with this are kicking really nice um, grassy herbal spicy and a little bit earthy all of those hot components coming through nice and bready slightly sweet in the middle from the malt um, very light body medium carbonation super easy drinking um, very well balanced because you get the the sweet malty bready notes and a lot of hop action with this to to round it out. A lot of hop character, but really not a ton of hop bitterness. Although there is a nice bite on the back end to really kind of cut it off immediately. There's no lingering uh, flavor or anything like that. It just drops off and you want to go right back in for another sip, which with these types of styles, I absolutely love that effect because these are the types of beers that you're supposed to have a couple of them, you know, drink a few with friends. If you're at Oktoberfest in Germany, you could drink these all day and I think that's kind of the point with this type of beer mm. super crisp clean refreshing dry there's slight fruity notes coming through as well almost like a bazooka joe bubblegum type fruity maybe a little banana in there as well but the bubblegum banana note is definitely in there um, but it's on the lighter side. The hops are really the star of the show. And then you get the nice um, malt character and that breadiness. But really the hops with this particular beer are shining through the most. It tastes super fresh and it's ultra enjoyable and refreshing. So one more sip and I'm ready to give you guys a rating. Mm. Really nice and light bodied and sessionable and great beer 
for Oktoberfest or just any time of year where you want to drink a few beers, not feel heavy and bloated and weighed down. Um, this is a great beer for that. Um, I'm going to go 95 out of 100. It's right down the middle of an, a, of an A. It's a solid A beer. I would highly, highly recommend it if you can find it in the variety pack or if you can find it as a single or six pack or whatever. Uh, if you're lucky enough to run across this beer, the Hussarin beer, definitely worth a shot. Kind of an interesting label there as well. Um, so there you go. 95 out of 100 for the Hussarin beer from Edger Ryder brewery out of germany buy it try it let me know what you guys think in the comments below that'll do it for this beer of you guys hope you're all having a wonderful day until next time everybody cheers